Hey everyone, Jacob here from jacobteacher.com. I hope you are all doing well. This is the first episode of a new series that I'm going to be releasing on this channel. Here's how it works. So some of you will know that on October 1st, I'm opening the doors to my English Academy. About three or four weeks ago, I sent out a survey to people who are on the wait list to join my Academy. By the way, if you'd like to join the waitlist, the link to do that is in the description below. Now in this survey, I asked the following question. I asked, what is one question or concern that you have about joining an online English Academy? I received many great questions and what I would like to do with this series is not only answer the questions that I received, but also offer my corrections. So I plan on turning this into a writing workshop. This series is going to be entirely about writing. And after October 1st, once the Academy has officially opened, if this series is popular, if people are enjoying it and finding it valuable, I'll continue the series. What I will do instead of answering questions from a survey is I will feature some of my students writing each week. So inside my academy, there will be a lot of writing exercises and each week I'll pull one of my students writing. I'll now feature it in a YouTube video. I'll do the same thing. I'll offer my corrections and I'll show people how to rephrase things more naturally in English in order to help all of you hopefully become better English writers, okay? Uh, I've got one question right now that's loaded on a Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to switch screens here and you'll see what I mean in three, two, one. All right, everyone, as you can see, I have some English here. This was written by someone who is on the wait list to join my English Academy. I'm going to answer this question a little bit later. First, what I'm going to do is read through the question. Afterwards, I'm going to uh, show how I would rephrase this question right underneath this line here. So we'll go through and we'll make some corrections. And yes, then of course, I'll, I'll finish by answering the question. So let's begin. I think joining an English club like Jacob's Club is very important method to learn language. But Jacob, how can I find friends who will help me to boost my confidence, raise up, so that finally I will find myself one of the fluent English speaker? Okay, so great question. I understand this question completely, and there is a great answer for it. But first, let's go through this question. So I think joining, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this preposition in. We actually don't need the preposition in here after the word join. You could say, I will join a yoga club. Okay, notice there's no in here. We just have the article. I will join a hockey team. So you don't actually need the preposition in. You could just say, I think joining an English club. Now, Actually, when I first had the idea to open this academy, the name that I wanted to use was Jacob's English Club. I decided recently that I preferred the name Academy. So when I first sent out this survey, this person was responding to the name Jacob's English Club. Instead, it is now an academy. I think joining an English academy like Jacobs. Now, notice here, you could write Jacobs Academy again, but that would be a little bit redundant. We don't actually need that. It would be more natural to just say, I think joining an English Academy like Jacobs is very important method to learn language. So what I think this person is talking about here is that it is a, that it would be a great opportunity to, for learning English, uh, that it would be a great way to learn English. So I'm going to change up the sentence a little bit. I think joining an English academy like Jacob's is a great way to learn. Now you could 
use the word language if you want, but that would kind of imply that we're going to be learning more than one language at my academy, which of course we will not be doing. We're not going to be learning Chinese or Japanese or whatever. We're going to only be learning English. So it would be better here to be specific and, and just say English. I think joining an English academy like Jacob's is a great way to learn English. Now, instead of is here, you could change that. You could talk about this hypothetically. So you could say, I think joining an English academy like Jacob's would be a great way to learn English. It really just depends on what you want to communicate, how you want to express yourself. Let's use is because that is what this person used. And let's move on. Now, this question, in this question, this person used a comma here, but I'm actually going to end the sentence with a period. It feels like these are two different thoughts that are worthy of their own sentences. But, Jacob, how can I find, now if you want to use friend, if you want, if you want to talk about one friend, you need an article. How can I find a friend? If you want to talk about many friends, say, how can I find friends who will help? And I'm going to get rid of me and I'm going to get rid of two here. Help is a funny special verb that I can't spell right, apparently. Uh, so help is a funny verb. You don't actually need to after the verb help a lot of the time. How can I find friends who will help boost my confidence? I'm going to get rid of raise up here. You don't need that at all. How can I find friends who will help boost my confidence so that I can, I'm going to change will to can because I feel like we're talking more about possibility here. I think we're saying once this person finds friends who will boost his or her confidence uh, that they'll be able to become a fluent English speaker. So I'm going to use can instead of will. But Jacob, how can I find friends who will help boost my confidence so that I can become a fluent English speaker and question mark at the end, of course. So this is how I would rephrase the question. Of course, there are an infinite number of ways to phrase it. Other native speakers would surely phrase it differently than I did, and that's okay. All right, so let's answer this question now. This person was asking about finding friends in order to feel more confident as an English speaker. Now, one of the things that I was really happy about when I ran the test version of this academy with a small group of students was that so many of the students, they actually kept in touch with each other and they became really close friends. And this is something that I hope will happen to inside of the English Academy. I'm quite sure that it will happen because the website that I'm using, the website on which I'll host this academy is really great in terms of facilitating social interaction. Facilitate is a great verb that just means uh, to make things easier. So this website on which I'm hosting the site will make meeting other English language learners easy. So that in addition to all of the live lessons and the smaller speaking groups that will happen inside of the academy, I really don't think anyone will have any problems making friends inside of the academy. So I hope that answers your question. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this, if you found it valuable, let me know by leaving a thumbs up or by telling me in a comment. This is a new series for me too, and I always appreciate hearing your feedback. So I will see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.